Oh, so that, that was pretty quick. We already got uh, all the gems from this event in one sitting. Of course, using using Mother Spider. This is the list I was using. I have access to probably a bit more URs than the average player, like three lightning storms. So this this is this isn't the quote unquote budget ver version, but again, the the core is the exact same, and I. I had the budget version in my first video on this deck. I realized from the comments that there are maybe some lines that are less than obvious that you have to do with this deck in order to get to Mother Spider, so hopefully I'll cover some of those lines in the, the replays here. Well, there's actually a, uh, quite a few things I want to point out in this first replay. One is that Without Ash Blossom, Maxi resolves so so much more. It's unbelievable. I don't think my Maxi's gone negated once his event, which you know it's probably not a good thing, but but we take those. So here, some of the Mother Spiders. If you're somehow playing against the Mirror Match or something, and you you see them uh, special Mother Spider Splitter, the choke point of this deck is not Mother Spider Splitter. In order to do, interact with this, you have to either impermit or remove it, like with Ice Dragon's Prison, before it activates the effect. Which means, well, you'll see what happens later if you remove my Mother Spider Splitter preemptively. Okay, so Ice Prisons, remove that. Awesome. Normal Dragon, Dragon Bite. Here's here's the second line at uh, the point. Here's the line uh, how you search Mother Spider using Resonance. Like, I saw a lot of questions on uh, what to do with the links and and what Resident Insect does. So here, you go into Armor Horn, right? Resident Insect will search Mother Spider Splitter. Then you use Armor Horn's effect to get an additional normal summon. Then you normal summon Mother Splitter. And here you see the problem with removing Mother Spider Splitter. Because I didn't use his effect yet. I could just summon another one. I didn't even use my normal summon yet. And then just do the combo. If you want to hit the deck, hit it after I summon the baby spiders. That's, that's the choke point. That's how you stop the deck. If you hit the Mother Spider Splitter, you're, you're gonna get punished. And next we go into the Pain Gainer route, and then uh, Spider, Detach, Summon Back, Ravenous, and because we have the Armor Horn in Grave, this is already game. Note there, I actually did misplay, I could've gotten slightly more damage. It doesn't matter because we went through the Resonance line, and that gives us an Armor Horn for the free damage we need anyways. But I'll... I'll point out what you should do in a scenario like that with the deck. Okay, so let me show you what you're supposed to do when you open Dragon Bite plus Resonant Insect. So our opponent's playing Trap Tricks. And they're going to Spider Pass. But that's unlucky. They open zero traps in their trap pick decks. Meanwhile, they're they're pretending to be a spider. We we, we do not we, we do not accept traitors here. The, the, this eleven sin is gonna eat it. So dragon bite, summon the resonance insect. Go into armor horn, add the splitter, and then normal summon the splitter by tributing the armor horn. And then we get our hands a banger, as you can see. Summon two baby spiders from hand. Excellent, what, that's what you want to see. Go into level 10 and go into Ravens Tarantula, and here, because we have a dark monster in Grave, in Dragon Bite, so Baby Spiders, Graveyard Effect says you can banish this card from your graveyard, pay half your life points, and then detach off a of Dark Exceeds, and then target one Exceeds monster in your, your graveyard, one Dark monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So, in fact, what you're supposed to do is you're not supposed to overlay on top of Ravenous here. You're supposed to actually just directly use Baby Spider's effect and summon back Dragon Bite. Because Dragon Bite has, has 1k more attack than Ravis Tarantula. 1k versus 0. So it's actually going to deal lead to more damage. Of course, it doesn't matter here because we also have the arm, Armor Horn, which is going to trigger Resident Insect to dump Goki Pole. And then Goki Pole is going to get Big Insect, and we're going to. Yeah, they're, they're dead. But. Just FYI, if that's all you have, Dragon Bite, in the grave, it's a way to squeeze out an extra 1k damage and get the OTK that way. 
Now somehow, in this replay, we end up in a grind game. Don't ask me how that transpired. Our opponent's playing Fire Kings. They go Tensu, Fire King, uh, Avatar, Arvada. I, I love the classic, I use Tensu as the additional normal summon, but not your actual normal summon for the turn, because you don't have anything else. So, our turn, I'm gonna uh, Small World ban Banish. I, I actually, the, the thing is, this thing's kind of annoying because this is a monster effect. And I don't have enough monsters in hand to to search a kaiju and still kill them afterwards. So my best, I have to bait out this thing in the, in the dumbest way possible. Okay, I, I small rolled for Guard Mantis, banishing the Mother Spider Splitter. And then I'm gonna activate Guard Mantis so that they'll negate it. This, negating a Guard Mantis effect in hand. You'll never see this again, and they pop Neph this. Which is a problem. Uh, but the, the Tensu is not going to be a problem anymore because we have Duster. And I'm going to call by the Nephthys and set the Guard Mantis. Here's the great thing about Guard, guard Mantis is broken. This is a level 4 monster with 2400 defense. You can just set it and nothing's going to run it over. They have to make a commitment to run it over. Like, so just going to Bujinte Kagasuchi just to run over the Guard Mantis. And those are, those are some nice mills. Love to see it. Our turn. Draw a second resonance insect. That's just what I wanted. Thank, thank you. I'm gonna draw us another wolf bark, and they don't have a target because they didn't detach off Kagasuchi. We didn't let them. Now we search Doomdozer, and this is the longest game I've ever played with this deck. But we have resonance engrave and Doomdozer, so here we can do an alternate line not involving Mother Spider. Dump Golgi Pole. Banish Resonance, dump Goki Pull, add Dragon Bite, normal Dragon Bite, summon the second Resonance, go into Armor Horn, get another search, because what, what what is a once per turn really? Like like what's a once per turn? Get get the Mother Spider, tribute over, and then get the finally get the three babies out. Effect. Going to Ravnus Tarantula. Use its effect. It will force the detach on Bujin Bujin take Kagasuji. And they're they're dead because uh, no matter how many times they can protect their Kagasuchi, we have a Doom Dozer plus a Baby Spider affecting Brave plus an Armor Horn. So the the elusive six turn duel this event. Yeah, aside from that last we played, uh, that's pretty much how most of the duels will go. I played against a lot of a lot of Lyralists, and it was. Determined by who won the die roll, and by that I mean it was uh, whoever chose to go second usually usually won that. So yeah, that's a very there's just like four going second OTK decks that are like all within like the top five most played decks in this event, and and the fifth deck is like B Troopers, which is like basically just half of this deck anyways, except they can actually go first. So if you missed my my first video, I'll go in. I go into much more detail about the cards, what all the cards do, and the game plan for this deck. So go check that out if you're uh, jumped into this video first and you're a little confused. And if you, I made a B Trooper video for this event too. If you one of the few B Trooper players that exist in the game, and good luck on getting your gems.